بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today, me and my colleague Dr. Abdurrahman Ibrahim Sulaiman Saleh from KGI will be presenting a presentation entitled Motivational Factors Affecting the Integration of Technology in Arabic Classes During MCO for SAIS 2020 Conference. As we may aware, Malaysia's uh, 20 public universities transformed online learning for various major languages, including Arabic. In this study, the aim was to explore the perceptions of Arabic language lecturers in USIM about the influence of technology on their creative teaching practices and motivation during MCO. So actually, most of the universities in Malaysia are transformed. They are teaching Japanese, Korean, um, Arabic, English as well as other major languages. So um, during MCO, most of the uh, lectures they change and transform their teaching and learning methodology and approaches from the conventional one to online learning. So the methodology for this study, uh, this study actually was an exploratory case study and we employed responsive semi-structured interviews. Uh, nine Arabic language uh, lecturers from the Faculty of Major Language Studies USAIM were interviewed. So uh, as a result, uh, we have gathered uh, some uh, or few factors that motivate Arabic language lecturers to use technology in their teaching and learning. Factor number one, technology facilitates teaching. Factor number two, technology saves time because a uh, student actually can do conversation, uh, can do can send feedback uh, to from teacher, from lecturer to student, student to student, and student to lecturer. So actually, technology really saves time. Factor number three, um, online learning actually brings the subject closer to student. Factor number four, MCO or PKP requires the use of technology because right now we cannot do face-to-face -face session, so we just transform to online learning. Factor number five, lecturers get immediate feedback. So actually using online learning, we can get uh, immediate feedback from the student 24 seven. And factor number six, technology helps in differentiating teaching. So uh, actually using the technology to personalize learning, we can differentiate between four skills in Arabic. We have listening, we have uh, writing, we have reading, and we have a conversation or we call it as muhadatha. So as a discussion and conclusion, one of the disadvantages mentioned by all nine participants, uh, nine Arabic lecturers was the slow internet connection in USIM. But still, I think it is a global issue, not just in USIM. Most of the lecturers were able to find some resources in Arabic, but with difficulty because of this slow connection. Some of the uh, lectures are lack of uh, trainings, and they need more workshops. And it would have been better if the video was dubbed in correct FUSHA or standard Arabic or subtitled in Arabic. Some of the students or some of the uh, educational resources are uh, using uh, Amiya or uh, we, call, we call it as colloquial Arabic. So some of the lectures uh, mentioned that it would have been better if the video was subtitled in a correct FUSHA or standard Arabic. The scarcity of Arabic educational resources for non-native students uh, so some of the students might find uh, educational resources for Arabic, especially for non-native speaker, are very scarce. Uh, 
So actually, we need to differentiate between the educational resources for native speakers and the non-native speakers. There are two different things. And some lecturers also mentioned that many errors could be found in the materials that were translated into Arabic, whether it's coming from the lecturers themselves or from the students. And also, they could not rely on the information their students got from the internet because much of it could be incorrect or inaccurate. As I mentioned just now, uh, some students will just copy and paste from the Wikipedia, from the uh, not so validated, un unvalidated uh, data. So we might find uh, the participant or the sample might find some of the information that students send to the lectures are quite incorrect and inaccurate. So as a conclusion, uh, I really attracted by one uh, phrase coming from the sample for, from the lecturer themselves or himself. He mentioned about it doesn't need a magic wand. It needs determination and seriousness in our work on the administrative level in general so that they can revise and review the curriculum. So in USAM actually, uh, Bachelor of Arabic and Communication, uh, we have been used the same curriculum from 2005 or 2006. So it has been 14 or 15 years that we need to review and improve it. So we might hear from the KP or Koto program that uh, this program uh, have been uh, um, considering to review and improve the curriculum from time to time and we have to put a new vision in Arabic education with the different techniques, different approaches with the more current things that we add to the lesson. So uh, thank you very much uh, for listening. Uh, we hope that size 2020 will be a success one. Wabilaita fi walidaya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.